renal right renal artery and this is left renal artery so now this is called ethmus this ethmus is nothing but the renal functioning tissue renal functioning tissue which tissue cortical or sinus cortical and cortical looks like a hypoechoic we know that right mm -hmm. hypo echoic so sonographically what you are going to see look at here sonographically in transverse view in transverse view you will see this is the spine and you will see this is aorta and anterior to the aorta you will see there is a hypoechoic mass you feel like there's a band of hypoechoic tissue okay this is a band of hypoechoic tissue if you see this type of this is aorta then you have to look for the kidney Oh my God, I learned that it could be the ethmus of the fused kidney. Let me see the two kidneys are isolated, separated or not. If you see no, there is no way I can make the kidney separated. Then you have to understand it is fused. And they ask which pole is more or usually fused. Lower pole. So superior pole can be fused but it is less than the lower pole. Okay, so in this way you can identify horseshoe shaped kidney. Now, single or fused kidney. single which is fused actually it is not a one kidney two kidney development they are so closed but during the development they couldn't they failed to be separated so then what happened two kidneys are fused together and those are in one sided so single kidney so now normally developmentally in the pelvic cavity so in the pelvic cavity this is pelvic cavity so two kidneys are growing side by side but they need to be isolated but somehow they fuse together when they fuse together so then what happened? So they are moving in this side. So then there will be kidney here. And with this there will be another kidney. That means this kidney is fused with this. And what going to happen the other side? No kidney. So this is the criteria. Uh, one side there is no kidney. Uh, right, I have to look for the other side. Is the kidney present? Yes, present. Hey, measure the kidney. It looks like two kidney fused together. So what your assumption? The size would be larger. Larger. So in here uh, there is no kidney, no kidney. But in here you will see two kidneys how sonographically for the adult I can say this is fused kidney 
Okay, how can you say? I'm a Okay, so now kidney size will be bigger, usually 14 centimeter. Let me draw the kidney. If you get the kidney then you will see this is the kidney cortex look this is the band coming from one surface to the other surface and it crosses the total sinus it fused with this cortex to this cortex but column of Bertin you heard everybody right column of Bertin is look at here I'm drawing here the column of Bertin Look, how can you differentiate the column of Bertin? It is just extended towards the sinus, but it did not fuse with the other end. You got it? Uh -huh. So this is fused kidney and this is column of Bertin. So that's the way you can separate. So now if you measure from here to there, then you will see it is greater than 12 centimeters. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now question. If it is a fused kidney, that means two kidneys are together here, right? So how many uh, renal hilum are you going to see? Two. It's supposed to be two. So there might be two hilum. Right? If there is a two hilum, so here one hilum and here one hilum. So now if it is supplied by one renal artery, so one renal artery is coming. So then what happened? Renal artery is splitting then it goes to supply the kidney you got it or there might be a duplicating no not duplicating there might be the two renal artery but the left sided renal artery may come back to here congenitally it can be anything but most of the time if this kidney is absent then renal artery on this left side will be absent too. so then most of the time it happens this renal artery is splitting click the color what are you going to see the two artery is going through the two hilum of the kidney and on the left side there is missing okay so this is Single fused kidney. They both always function? Yeah, those are functioning. Patient may not have any problem. So next is duplicating connect, collecting system. What is duplicating? Duplicated collecting system means in one kidney. Duplicated collecting system 
in here both side there are kidneys but one kidney in either side has a two hilum and two hilum means two pelvis collecting systems are duplicated means minor calyx major calyx renal pelvis are twice so now this is kidney Okay, duplicated connecting system. It may be supplied by one renal artery that goes everywhere, or it could be splitting. So now this duplicating connecting system is not good all the time because what is the destination? This ureter. Their destination is bladder, right? Mm -hmm. Bladder. This is bladder. So they have to open inside the bladder. But usually, what happens? They may be open into the bladder separately. Number one. They may be blocked. One could be blocked over here. And there would be uterocele collection of urine in here. Uterocele. Or it could be like this. There is nothing. It could be joining with the others. Okay, so this is not a good one could be very skinny and not connecting into the bladder, connecting with the others. So duplicating connect, collecting system, you have to click the color, then you will see the two renal pelvis. Here you will see two renal collecting system. Two renal collecting system means two renal pelvis okay and how you sonographically you may not get it if not so then IVP contrast mediated x-ray can identify this duplicating collecting system clearly okay so next is male rotated kidney what is male means means abnormal which is not normal okay male rotated male rotated kidney Normally, normally the kidney is hilum. This is midline, right? Kidney hilum is towards the midline, and that this is called lateral. Right? Normally, the kidney is like that. But if this kidney is rotating like this and the hilum is anterior, 90 degree, it is rotating at 90 degree, then what happened? The hilum is now this way, right? So this is the hilum, the opening. And you are scanning, then which part of the kidney is close to the kidney uh, transducer? The hilum. So sonographically,
sonographically you will see sonographically the kidney hilum is towards the uh, transducer so this is anterior this is posterior that means hilum is towards the anterior towards the anterior okay okay one more thing i figure it out the um, fused kidney if it is fused in the pelvic cavity so then it looks like a pancake because i forgot to tell you okay <laughs> that's the way it is so in the pelvis you might see a pancake that is a two fused kidney in the pelvic region okay and this is male rotated kidney male rotated kidney hilum is towards the anterior period okay so and um, male rotated kidney is a functioning kidney yes but malrotated kidney you will see the hilum is towards uh, just under the abdominal wall and you they should know better uh, because uh, any trauma is a big challenge okay so now i will talk about the hypoplastic kidney what is hypoplasia means hyperplasia and hypoplasia what is hypo Hypo means is it big or small? Small. Small. Hypo means small. Hypoplastic. Hypoplastic kidney means small kidney. What is the normal adult size? Normal. Normal size. So length is length is nine to twelve centimeter, right? Mm -hmm. So in hypoplastic kidney, in hypoplastic kidney, the kidney is less than nine centimeter. Less than nine centimeter. So normally. Normally the kidney, which kidney is little bigger? Yeah. Left kidney is bigger than right kidney. How much it is bigger? So up to 2 cm. So if the right kidney is 10 cm, and the left kidney is 12 centimeter then I will say yeah it is still within the range it is normal unless there is some pathology I can see if it is normal looking I will say it is normal but if the right kidney is 10 centimeter and the left kidney is smaller and I found is 8 centimeter that is called hypoplastic kidney. So now question. What do you mean that if it is a hypoplastic kidney, what could be causes? Congenitally it could be one could be small. Then what could be the other causes? We have to understand that kidney Kidney gets its arterial supply, its nutrition, oxygen by the renal artery. Renal artery. By any chance, if this renal artery is stenosis, stenosis, then what happened? 
It's not getting enough blood, enough nutrition, enough oxygen. So as a result, this kidney is getting smaller gradually. Right? What happens if like the spleen is just enlarged, would not have room to grow big? Could Say again? Be, Which one? Could it be small if like the organs around it are enlarged and then it didn't have room? Uh, usually not like okay. that. That's the way. All genital signal, they will accommodate each other. Mm -hmm. Not like that. So now, question is, if you see the bilaterally, kidneys are small. One kidney is 9 cm, another kidney is 8 cm. Bilaterally small. So if it is a bilaterally small, that means it is really a challenging for the for that person because kidney has to work. And if one kidney doesn't work, the other kidney has to work double. But if the kidney is small and a tons of work you imposed on the head of the small kidney. So what is going to happen to the small kidney? It may not compensate all the work. It may not accomplish all the work that a kidney needs to be done. So then what can happen? Patient will develop sign symptoms of renal failure. What is the most important marker for sign symptoms of renal failure? Urea level will go up, blood urea level, and the creatinine level will go up. And what gonna happen? The blood pressure. It's gonna go up. Okay, patient will not fail good. So now if what are the causes of renal hypoplasia? If the both renal artery is stenosis, progressively getting stenosed, both, there's a blockage. Or there is a medical renal disease. Medical renal disease, example, high blood pressure, diabetes. So that can cause gradual damage or death of nephron. As a result, the kidney size will be smaller, smaller, smaller and hyperechoic. Okay, so this is hypoplastic kidney. You have to measure the kidney. Then you will see, oh my god, the kidney, both the kidneys are small or one kidney is small. Then you have to right away, you have to think, if both kidneys are small, so most common cause is diabetes and high blood pressure. If one kidney is normal, another kidney is small, then you have to understand there might be renal artery stenosis on that side. Okay? So then they will do further procedure, renal artery, arteriography. They will do it. IVP, they will do it. So then they will figure it out. What is the problem? So now renal ptosis. What does ptosis mean? Abnormally hanging with the ligament, suspensory ligament. Normally the kidney is attached with the posterior wall, with the gyrotus fossa. And if the renal capsule, perinephric fat, gyrotus fossa, all are very loosely attached with the kidney, then what happened? Just you are hanging something with a rubber band, right? So rubber band getting loose and and the materials that is hang is going down, down. So now if there is a renal process that means uh, let me draw a diagram for you. So 
So this is kidney. And the kidney is hanging with a ligament. And if I am standing and I am supine, when I am standing, the kidney will hang down into the pelvic cavity. because of the gravity is going to go down right so if this patient if this patient is standing and having um, an x-ray or any procedure but patient is standing so then this kidney in here is now hanging down in here Right? Usually the kidney, the renal ptosis kidney is in the pelvic cavity. But this patient is now having x-ray. Patient is in supine condition. So then what happened? This kidney was here, right? Now this kidney will come back here. You will see the two different variation of position in standing and supine. That means the kidney is very loosely hanging with ligaments. So that is called ptosis kidney. So this is identified usually when you scan the patient in both views, standing and supine. But this is normal functioning. What is the danger of ptosis? Twisting. <laughs> it could be uh, male room, I mean the, uh, what is it called? Rotation, male rotation. Okay, twisting. And that is emergency. You have to open the bed. If they notice that, do they fix it right away or they wait till there's a problem? Oh, when they notice it, so they, it is better always open it and fix okay. it with the it uh, surrounding tissue so that it cannot be hanged or moved all the time. So now, supernumerary kidney. What is supernumerary? Super numerary supernumerary means by the number it is more than two that means normally we have one sided one kidney one side one kidney but if you see on the right side there is double kidney Okay, if you see double kidney, when there's a double kidney, there will be double collecting system. And the other side is normal. When there's a supernumerary kidney, why did it happen? Because congenitally, one-sided kidney was duplicated and they are attached to each other. So then size of the kidney will be longer. And it has a duplicating collecting system. And so it would have a cortex in between too, right? Huh? It would be a cortex in between like the yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you will see that its a length is high, and you click the color, you will see the two hilum. Mm 